So what's up, everybody? It's your boy, boy, Bar Bar Cannabis All Star, doing what he do, just over here trapping and grinding in traffic today, doing the moving. I figure, you know, I just been driving, listening to podcasts, and doing my little shit. I was like, you know, let me uh, tap in and touch base with the squad, see what everybody doing, man. You know, see what it does. Shit. I Me, mean, it's a good day just smoking on the same shit. It's like a mixture of uh, that Hollywood and Medellin on these last two blunts that we got. I smoked that uh, micro batch. And what I can say about that, mm, it's all right. For the, for the price you paid, you just paid for like the, oh, we were smoking cookies Medellin and we were smoking cookies Hollywood, bitch. And we were smoking some of them little micro batches, all that R&D nugs. Nah, I mean, but in reality over here, I'm like, nigga, all this shit I be smoking be R&D. Like, hold the fuck on. Like, I be smoking like weird, just way out of pocket, small batch of research and development. Right? I'm just saying, bro. Just keep, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Get a little smoke on for the day. Mm-mm. Man, I've been trying to get all the help I can to help me process these seeds and shit. Finally had some motherfuckers come over. I had to pay out, you know what I'm saying, to come get them. And as soon as I got all that shit done, I was like, oh, what's up with this printer? Nigga, printer went down. Right? And I'm like, yeah, we about to do this. The printer died. I'm just like, man. I was not for I was like, man, this ain't about a bitch. That's why that bitch wasn't going. There's a little flute on the side of it. So now I got to go get another printer. I mean, like, you know, my printer was a beast, man. I had that printer for some years. And I've been just hog status with that printer, bro. Like, nonstop. So that bitch finally died. So I'm going to have to go get a new one of that. But I got other bags. But now I'm out of vials. I got to order more vials. Like, I got to order more glass vials, plastic vials. Like, I need more of those. Yeah, bitch, that's where we at. That shit is crazy when I started thinking about it. Started looking at all the things. I got them all lined up. I'm like, I'm just, I'm happy now. Uh, you know, when you get it, well, I just, it's because I made a big push, bro. I made a big push over there. And I finally got through on some shit. I'm excited about it. Um, and it's just like another thing off the list. Like, don't get it twisted. There's still more. That needs to be processed, that needs to be pushed, blah, 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 blah. Some nice tasting weed, I'll give them that. But for the price you pay for that shit, that bitch better be nice. Better be beyond nice. The cash these motherfuckers be begging for. If you want this experience, my friend, you must give us all of your money. You give us all of your money, I will give you some of these little here. And that's how I was looking at that shit. Like, bro, where the seeds at? They're like, hey, you can go get it on the on the side. I was like, man, fuck that bullshit. I came over here for an experience, bitch. I can't get it. Y'all just you just a fucking pot club. That's lame. Even the pot club be selling seeds. You talking about you a, you a pot spot? You don't sell seeds or clones? Y'all tripping? But. If I want that cookie sweater or that cookie t-shirt, then all of a sudden, oh, I got action at it. Nah, nah, nah. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So where we at for today? Oh, man, I got to go sit down and have lunch with a few people. I'm ungodly early. I'm ungodly early. Motherfuckers is like, you know, between this time and that time, uh, when we first started the conversation... You know, and they said between this time and that time, that that's a motherfucker. Ah, shit keep coming and going out. It's got a little flute hole on the side. So where are we at as far as genetics? Winning. That's where we at. I haven't seen any changes just yet on the the fem shit. But in a minute, you, we're not going to be able to uh, open up both tents at the same time just to make sure there ain't no uh, 
you know, pollinating. Bye, Ram, you. Bye, Ram, you. Yeah, bro. I'm trying. I'm trying to have a good day. I'm trying to have a good day, uh, a, a playful day, an exciting day. You know what I'm saying? Like a chill day. I don't want no like extracurricular, just way insane to fuck. Me. Some shenanigans. I could. I could. I could deal with a little bit of shenanigans. But some defuckery, I don't want no part of that, bro. Keep everything chill, bro. Keep everything chill. Keep it chill. Keep it chill. Stop by, stop by Vallejo. I might go by Berkeley today. I don't know about the Berkeley part of it, but you know, hit the V, maybe hit Marin. I don't know. I got, I got to do some moving around today. I got the wiggle, wiggle. Now let's get back to these, uh, uh, these genetics. So I'm just waiting for this uh, OG Kings to pop. Yeah, we about to have all this shit lined up. In the next few days, uh, that other shit should show up too. And then we on and cracking. I'm pushing. I'm about to have OG King, the Kings and the Jokers, nigga. I got Kings and Jokers. What's up? Kings and Jokers sound like 21 to me, baby. King and the Joker? Oh, man, that sound like 21 to me. Two Kings to give you a dub, you know what I'm saying? Like... Let's go. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm about to start catting off for real. No, I'm just out here at the little cool spot. Like instead of, uh, you know, taking the highway, highway, where shit be all, all rough looking and shit. I like to, you know, I, I know all these little back roads and shit to where I be going. So I be preferring to just take the back road and, you know, just chill out, man. Nigga gonna be early so I can go get me some snacks, some zooms. And motherfucking wham whams. I went to go touch that screen up. It's cut off. It's cut this bitch back on. And whatever clip too. What it do? Yeah, I'm excited about these trains. Um, I don't know if the permanent marker going to do what the permanent marker uh, supposed to do. I done put her in all the positions to do that. And, you know, I hope. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers, you know, do what it's supposed to do. And we get all the crosses that we want. Just I ain't never did it before, so I don't know. I've done it. I've done it like with the the potato runs, but you can't find that bag of seeds, so it just you, pff, niggas don't know if you did it or not. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't got no proof that you did it, my friend. I don't know, man. I'm just trying to get in the mood of all this bullshit. Like the game is about to start picking up speed. Like I just went from doing this square shit, you know what I'm saying, like doing this other clock, um, now to doing this and just making that transition over, it's just different, it's just different, I feel like I spent more time in the other field honing my skills, so I feel a lot more comfortable in that square shit, uh, it wasn't, you know, it's, I don't know, it's weird, like, this is where I want to be, this is what I love doing, I enjoy this, this is, I feel very comfortable doing this. This is very smooth and enjoying to me. I'm good with the with the with the strains and the crosses, the conversations, um, and that type of shit. But I just, you know, I start looking at all the fucking shit that I was behind on. Like I still have I still got Pebbles Punch uh, crosses to do and I still got Cherry Cheek 707 shit to do. So it's like man fuck like and right when I thought I had time to do shit, I wouldn't have time to do shit. Now I got all the time. And I'm like, which way we go? Which way we go? Which way we go? And it may sound kind of boring, but you might find yourself in a position where you're like, man, I'm making this transition. I'm doing this over here. But I feel like, a, I don't know. I feel like I need to stretch a little more. Like, nah, I just put one foot in front of the other, bro. One foot in front of the other. Just one foot in front of the other. You ain't got to know where you going, bro, but, you know, sometimes you just, you got to be going. You just got to be going. You got to look at the sheeps and, and the and the baby sheeps and the, and the grass and, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you can do it. And you're crazy out there. Sometimes you're not sure which way to go in it. But if you got a dream that you want to do, man, you got to do it. And you ain't getting no fucking younger. Like, you're not. And I don't know what you settling for, not settling for, might be trying to settle for. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure you're not on that bullshit, baby. 
like set your standards, you know what I'm saying? Your standards going to fluctuate a little bit, but you don't want no drastic uh, change in it. I don't know, bro. I think I'm about to pull off some shit. And I, when I be finding myself, some crazy shit about to go down. Yeah, normally when some crazy shit about to go down, you know what I'm saying? And I don't participate, usually good things happen. And there have been some like wild shit popping off on the, like, you know, them side quests get dangerous. You know, I jump off on a side quest and next thing I know, I'll be like, damn, nigga, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back to the main trail with all this. But I complete the quest and I come back, bro. I come back. It's just, it get, it get wild out there. So if you out in a position in the game and you side quest and it's a dangerous side quest, remember, all the side quests go with the big quest of life, dog. So what am I saying and all that? Nigga, I don't know, bro. I've been working on this marketing and advertising and branding shit so much. Like, that's what it's been coming to. Like, that's all I really want to know right now. And in some certain ways, like, that shit ridiculously boring. Until you start, like, you got to get creative. Me getting creative with this shit, I'm starting to have fun. But when I be listening to a lot of shit, it's just, it's, it's wild, bro. It's wild, but it's boring. Like one part of me want to shut this bitch off and I'm just like, no bitch, keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm over here by uh, uh, San Pablo Bay. I'm over here by the National uh, Wildlife Refuge at the end of 116. About to slide off into the bay the back way. That's what I'm about to do. What else popping? Shit, nigga, just got chores to do. You got them seeds about to pop. You got to get ready to transplant those. These other plants are in a uh, transition. They starting to show they sex. I got to keep an eye on them uh, two copycat strains in the back just because that's just how I go. I'm not saying neither here, near, or anywhere, but I was told like, hey, man, you got to keep an eye on them. When you get that new wild shit, if you want that best of the best of that yada, yada, it'd be, you know, it could go some crazy shit can go down, so keep an eye on it. So that's what I'm doing. I to cut them clones. The clones is looking nice. That's about too much it when it comes like when it comes to the the, the cloning. I'm just gonna build up a couple of clones. Um, that way, when I do reversals on whatever, like say I wanted to say I want to do the permanent marker again, but I want to do it with some other shit. I know that I gotta build up a couple of permanent markers, and instead of spraying one permanent marker, I need to spray like probably like two or three they don't necessarily have to be in three gallon bags you know what i'm saying we can put them down into like one gallons and see where we get now this is a little cute part you know what i'm saying like you get this little nice part of the bay you got the rolling green hillsides and shit like that yeah somebody back in the day bought some property and today somebody owns that property that they bought Either they fucking own it or their kids own it or some other shit. So that's like my next major super fucking goal, nigga. Get some property. I don't care if I got to cut the deal with the devil. I don't give a fuck. It is, it is what it is. I need to get my hands on some dirt with the deed, bro. I got to get my hands with some dirt with the deed. Yeah, man, that's the only way you can kind of make it out here in the United States. This whole rental game is they set niggas up for that shit. And if you got the hustle with the internet, you know you just got to build a brand. How you think they all? You think the niggas is uh, doing that jail shit? You think the niggas doing that that jail shit right there, doing that clean up? Why the niggas out there doing that shit, cleaning up all that stuff? We well, think they got to do that community service, Charles? I don't know, man. I don't know. They might, they might, they might, they might. I'm over here by the uh, Sonoma Raceway. Sonoma Raceway, about to, take, about to take it into the back way. Take it into the back way. Is there anything I'm excited about? Yeah, about living my dreams, dog. Like, 
like the older I get, the more obsessed I get with this shit. And I've been seeing just a lot of people are uh, just around on dope, nigga. I thought when you got older in the game, I thought them dope niggas like thinned out. Nah, man, I'm starting to look around. It's a lot of niggas on dope. Niggas running with that thee 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 thee, and I just be like. Man, I mean, I feel you, you know, do what you need to do, but nigga, that just, y'all, I like my life, I ain't trying to get it, so for all them folks out there looking around and you just starting to see just a little more people on drugs in your age bracket, and you look around, you're like, I thought y'all niggas wasn't supposed to be fucking around with that shit no more, like, I, I ain't got nothing else better to do, right, don't trip, don't trip, that's just the game testing you, that's just the game touching around you on the water, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just the wolves up on your fence line. They just touching it. You know what I'm saying? See see if it's hot or not. You know, niggas is who they is. I ain't going to never knock nobody for being who they is or who they want to be. Mm -hmm. That ain't my type of hype. <laughs> <coughs> Some niggas be talking, you just be looking at their eyes. And them niggas be looking real intense. You be like, they just be really on certain shit. You just be listening to shit. And you just be like, nigga, you got high? And it's all about, you know what I'm saying? You say, nigga, you got high? If you say it at the right, if you say it at the wrong tone, them niggas be like, oh, no, 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 They'll go on a whole nother path. You say it at the uh, uh, at the right time. Oh, you got high. Oh, they like oh, you know, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. And that's when you come back and be like, oh, okay, just checking. I don't fuck around with that no more. I used to, you know, to me, that's a that's a that's a young person sport. That's a young person sport. And then I go into the whole like you know, back in the day, why you fuck with that shit? That shit was called crank. You crank it up, nigga. Turn it up. That's when nigga get high and go to work. Nigga go to, go get high and go hustle. Nigga go get high and go get the bag. And then all of a sudden now I be like niggas get high now and they 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 get high for the bag. It's a different ball game, different ball game. You know, like I say to each his own, and that's once I don't know. It's like I don't whatever motherfuckers are in a situation. I don't want to be seen as like I ain't fucking with you because you a dope fan. I'll be like nigga, I smoke weed. All the time I drink coffee And I'm just at a point in my life When they got I'm good with my reality bro I'm good with it Give me my little weed Give me my kids You know what I'm saying I'm good Maybe put me a little bad bitch That'll put up with my shit in there Somewhere up in there On some family trips and shit I'm good I'm a happy camper nigga No I'm good I like to go to sleep By like 10 11 at the latest You know what I'm saying <laughs> Like Nigga like to be up about like uh, 5, 36, you know what I'm saying? Get them kids ready. Have a little time for yourself before the kids get up. Get this shit together. That's the type of nigga I am. I ain't the one like, it's 1, 30, 2 o'clock in the morning. Niggas is up talking about, oh, I'm about to go to the store. Nigga, why is you a what? No. Nigga, you waking up at 1 o'clock in the morning is to fuck the bitch next to you. Nigga, when you come back from the bathroom and you done pulled the blankets back and you done seen a little butt cheek. Slide up in there. Like, oh, then you just curl up on that booty. Next thing you know, boy, if you done tapped it before she done went to sleep, it should be some nice little bit of Uber kit right there. You can just slide back in it to get to it. Slide back in it. Wake her up to the dick. And that's the only... Like, nigga, that's like the only way I'm trying to be up on a late night. I mean, unless it's like, okay, I take that back. The only time, nigga, I will stay up all night looking like a geek and tweak is if I am waiting for this Bitcoin to hit a particular number. Because every time I turn around, like, the best time to sell some Bitcoin, nigga, is when I'm asleep. Like, if a motherfucker was up at, I don't know, let's say, uh, 1.47 a.m., you know what I'm saying? A motherfucker would have damn near, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like a motherfucker would have chunked the wind off the Bitcoin in my hustle. Nah, I wake up at like, you know, 5.30. I'm taking a shit, look at my phone about like 5.35. I see where it was. 
And I look at where it is and be like, God damn, man, fuck. Damn, man, they got to stay up all night for that shit. Now I see why they do that. I got that. Now, to me, that's legitimate because that's like, nigga, I'm up all night. I'm hustling and grinding and I'm fucking, I'm hunting these numbers, nigga. I got that. I got that. But even then, I'm like, nigga, I got to go to bed. I, I like sleep. I don't know how these niggas do it, bro. They be up all night getting into shenanigans and the fuckery and ain't got shit to show for it. I don't get that. That's, that's very disturbing to me. But fuck, I can't say nothing, nigga. I used to be a, a part of the high gang in the back of the day, boy. They be like, nigga, you high? No, I'm trying to get higher. They be like, what you doing, nigga? I'm, it's full axle grease with the spin, nigga. Spin it to win it, bitch. Spin it to win it. Now I'm like, I drink too many motherfucking Red Bulls and coffees and get to jitter and be like, oh, hell no. I don't like none of this shit. Yeah, I said that. So to all the niggas out there, y'all getting high still to this day, God bless y'all songs. God bless you, nigga. God bless you with a new liver. God bless you with a new kidney. <laughs> Definitely, Lord Jesus, bless these niggas with a new heart. <laughs> and some niggas been getting high since about the late 80s, nigga, early 90s. I'm going to say that these niggas is committed. Hey, 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 and them new niggas who be getting high in this new generational type shit, bro, bro, you niggas gonna be aging so fast, oh yeah, them niggas, hey, yeah, I'm just saying, y'all gonna be aging so fast, so that's why me, I'm finally happy, I'm at a point in my life, I'm be like, oh no, nigga, smoke some weed, talk some shit, enjoy your day, like, what's the worst case scenario if you feeling bad? Nigga, go to a vineyard, nigga, buy a couple of glasses, go sit in the in the, the grapes or some shit, nigga, smoke some weed and chill the fuck out, bitch. It ain't that serious. Or you wanna go get high? Go get high where the high come from, nigga. Go be like one of them internet, you know, they got the passport bros and the passport gals, like all that type of shit. Yeah, nigga, use your passport, go get high all over the world. Go, nigga, go get loaded and, and go tell you the Go do videos about that shit. Go get paid for that. But me, I'm trying to figure out what is the best THC percentage that I can mix up and match. Now, is it going to be the THC that fucked the nigga up? Or is it going to be some other uh, uh, genes inside of the plant that just put a nigga like this? Hey, now, the motherfuckers had some weed. That had a motherfucker holding the back of his legs. I oh, see. Yeah, you don't know. I don't, okay, all right. I might have said that wrong, bro. Cause some of y'all gonna be like, "What you mean, uh, holding the back of your legs?" Man, them niggas be so hunched over forward. The motherfuckers can literally hold the back of their legs, bro. Like they just bent all the way over, bro. I'm like, y'all want weed to do shit like that that you gotta compete with? What is that? So I'm like, well, we gonna start off gonna just take some OGs and some cushions and some triangles and, and all this other high power shit. We're gonna see what that do. We're gonna see what that do. You're like, how'd you switch that up? I'm gonna be like, hey man, them niggas can get high as they want, but every nigga that I know that do some type of dope, no matter what type of dope, like I don't care if it's like the legal dope, the illegal dope, that gray area drugs, like them niggas gonna wanna smoke some weed. And just that regular ass weed that niggas be getting from the club, ain't gonna be able to compete with that just because you got the weed ain't gonna be strong enough nigga it's not gonna be strong i didn't say strong i said strong s-c-r-o-n-g enough nigga it's not gonna be strong enough so i need to figure out how to uh put together some shenanigans and some fuckery to bring that strong that strong 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 out and see where it can go but, uh, you know, I'll be back in a minute. I gotta, I gotta go look up some directions real fast. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna be, uh, I found out I'm gonna be hella early, nigga. So we finna go post up in the V for a minute and slide down there, uh, at some of my little stomping grounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the day when a nigga was broke. Oh, bro, you always sleeping in my truck, nigga, down here. Matter of fact, I might, uh, just do a video and we're like, oh no, nigga, I was uh, I was trying to do some square shit. I rented me a spot off of uh, 
Craigslist. I was paying this uh, very like black militant brother, you know what I'm saying, like rent. Uh, we had this uh, Dauphine uh, white boy roommate. Long story short, dude wasn't paying the rent and we all got evicted. I ain't had nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Hold on. And I was on, uh, well, I, well, yeah, I was pretty sure I was on parole back then. I think I had a tracking device. I think I had to charge that bitch in the car. Like, it was a rough nigga back in the day, boy. The motherfucker didn't know where to go or what to do. I didn't know where to go or what to do. And a nigga didn't have gas to be driving around like that. And it was rough back in the day. Yeah, yeah. I think I was sleeping in the truck. That shit was so uncomfortable. But I was happy I had that truck, though. I was happy I had that truck. And now I'm motherfucker doing good, you know? So it's taking, it's taking some years to get there, you know what I'm saying? And go through all the shit. But, bitch, if I could do it, you could do it, man. I could do it, you could do it. Now, you know, now watch this. You notice how the, the image done changed now, right? I mean, it's gonna be cool for a second. We gonna slide. We gonna slide by the, where the little yacht club and shit at. Yeah, I ain't gotta be there for a while, so I got time to go dig off, edit this video, and get it up and all that other shit. So I know you cats finna start fucking with that Opus clip. You'd be stupid not to use my link, bro. No, I'm serious. I'll give you the link. You use it. You'll be good. And you're going to find out real quick, nigga, that Opus costs. You're going to be like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And just so you know, everybody know, there is a motherfucking yacht club in Vallejo. I know you may not have known that. You may have only heard about the shenanigans and the fuckery in the Vallejo. But Vallejo has a Vallejo yacht club, bro. That says Vallejo Yacht Club. Founded in the 1900s. So, like, don't act like, you know what I'm saying, Vallejo ain't got that shit, bruh. A lot of times, you know, cats want to, you know, speak foul and speak ill of the bay. And first nigga say that Vallejo is not a part of the bay. Then they go, how, where the, how, where, they got boats, nigga. They got boats, canals that lead to the what, bitch? To the bay. Where the bay lead to, nigga? The ocean. The ocean, nigga. The ocean. The ocean. Yeah, where was that? I had that. I mean, we'll go park over there and dick around. Or, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll park where I parked at. And if they're like, you gotta pay the fuck, yeah, they're gonna be like, you gotta pay, fuck all that. Going up in here. I'd rather go pay in this bitch. That way we can go dick around. <coughs> yeah, they got steakhouses and shit down here. Man, these steakhouses been out here for fucking years. Yeah, a lot of cats don't know this part. You got a, they got the little boat that come down here, like the little ferry. So if you want to like, because what I would do is I would try, I would live out here because it was cheaper. Then I'd go work in Frisco with my cousin, uh, doing, you know, just doing this and that, little projects and shit like that. A nigga sleeping in his car. Yeah, yeah, it's a whole bunch of shenanigans, man. But if you ain't uh if you ain't about that life, I mean don't act like you about that life. So you gotta pay the ticket about being about that life. Yeah, that shit be full. So yeah, round zero. So yeah, when shit went bad, your boy had to uh sleep in that parking lot in his truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, it was under uh, that light pole right there. It was rough, bro, for a hot second. It was just, just stank ass, ugly, like nigga on his back, dead rat type situation, man. But so close to the bread, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was the, 
that's how my life was feeling right then and there. I felt like, you know what I'm saying, a nigga was about to die, but my goal was like right there. So, yeah, we'll take a little walk around, let y'all see some shit that most cats don't know about. Uh, the V. You know, but being down here is head on a swivel, head on a swivel, head on a swivel. Being down here, boy, head on a swivel, head on a swivel. Yeah, they got security down here now. It's a whole different ball game. Like this out the blunt. But yeah, that's how like like uh, uh, commuters uh, be sliding down this way. Cause you'll fuck around and uh, uh, cop you an apartment out here for about like 15, 16 hundred for like a little studio, one bedroom, something hella tiny, or nigga renting a room for about a band. Yeah, yeah, renting a room, nigga got me for nigga the thousand dollar deposit uh, and the thousand dollar uh, rent. Yeah, I was crushed, bro. Crushed. Like, crushed out for real. Hold on. Got to get another lighter. All right, we back. Had to get that bitch lit. So, yeah. That nigga got me, boy. I was crushed, too. I was crushed. I was like, why, Jesus? Why? Why? Because the only way he was able to live in the bay, nigga, was like, Living in the V, renting a room or some shit, then going trapping down in Frisco. And the fastest way to Frisco is hopping on this ferry. And then taking the BART on the late night on the way back. Yeah, yeah, what you know about uh, Panama Bay Coffee? Yeah, I've been getting that shit for like years, bro. Yeah, so if I had to be at work at, uh, in Frisco at night I come over here and catch the uh the latest ferry. Yeah man, I come over here and catch the latest ferry. And then I trap out in Frisco all night doing security at the clubs. And then you know what I'm saying at creeper hours nigga <laughs> be tucked away over there on the loin uh waiting for the uh the first uh first bark thing first bar train then hit the bar train all the way to the end over here and have to hop on the uh, bus to get that last part to the V. And the motherfucker was only making like what? Honey, maybe, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe 120, you know what I'm saying? I might've been able to like open up some doors in the back and you know what I'm saying? Get niggas to pay a little extra. But it was, man, it was rough. It was rough, nigga. It was rough. I don't say it was rough. It was rough, bro. So when Cass be asking, like, oh, this nigga's just, nah, 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 nah. Yeah, I know your boy history. Because at first you try to take the bar, so you'd have to catch the bus, right? to the bar station from the bar station go all the way uh, uh, underwater you know what I'm saying in the Frisco right get off over there uh, where the fuck you gonna get off and then I learned how much it costs to take that uh, <coughs> take that ferry you know when we got that ferry it was all good but the ferry don't run at night Damn, they got niggas living back there. Boy, they got little pop-ups everywhere. Nah, we just here hustling in conversation. That's all we was doing. Nigga said embarrassing his draws or embarrassed getting his I'm mad get about them OG's conversation, boy. <clears throat> yeah, bro, here we go. It's the 
That's that water. Yeah, nigga, I ain't been here for a minute, bro. But I used to be out here thick. Go get some uh, meat frescas from fucking uh, meat Pueblo. Go get some fried chicken from the little Asian spot. Yeah, bro, it's it getting crazy. Then I went from doing that to uh, working at the Dollar Tree. Oh, it was wild out here, nigga. It was wild. So now to just be sitting, uh, how I'm sitting, I'm, 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 nigga, I am grateful. I'm appreciative. I don't take none of that shit for granted, god damn it. I don't take none of that shit for granted, god damn it. No, no, no. So don't. So when you be asking me, like, why you grind so hard? Why you da 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 da? A little park spot over there keep a nigga fresh, bro. Yeah, so if you don't, uh, if you don't think you can do it, I, I hope that, uh, there might be a little inspiration on the table. And if not, nigga, I don't know what to tell you, bro. Uh, here goes some more inspiration. So this where niggas really be living in their car ass. See, when I was going through my episode, it was pre-COVID. So if you got caught parking in any out-of-pocket location, them niggas was in your mix, nigga. <laughs> it was in your mix. But now, you know what I'm saying? That's just a two-hour parking. I'm quite sure you niggas been parked here longer than two hours. And this is some of the most uh, expensive real estate in Vallejo. No, for real. These little, uh, tiny little, little townhome, little things, them niggas hell expensive. Why? Because they right there on the water. But yeah, see, I'm going to go ahead and say they've been here longer than two hours. Yeah, say two hours. I'm going to go ahead and say they've been here longer than two hours. And they got bags of popcorn and Yeah, it's not cheap living in the bay, bro. It's not. Like niggas gotta do this just to get by. The job market hella fucked up. Boy, I got that, uh, I got that race pigeon feed if you need it, boy. I got that race pigeon feed. Yeah, yeah, I got that race pigeon. Yeah, yeah, flip them, flip them, flip them. <laughs> yeah, so this the, is this the, this the fun part of the bay that niggas don't really be getting a chance to see. And I know I haven't done. Look. Tell niggas power up. <coughs> <coughs> Motherfuckers just find a spot where they can park at. <coughs> And they just doing their shit. Yeah, you know them niggas across the street. Pissed. Black G, any of these yours, bro? What's up? Tell me some of them bay pigeons. Y'all different, huh? And niggas just set up shop, bro. They just set up shop, man. And I know, nigga, that anyone false fucked up move, bitch, we could all be right back at this. Just one bad decision, nigga, one bad bottle, nigga, just one bad, and then one just, yeah, let that ego and pride hit you. Let that mental health uh, touch you in that spot. Boy, that nigga had the pipe in his hand. I'm just gonna keep walking, bro. I mean, my shit already be demolished. Look, they got their own septic system.
And we're off in a little dirt mobile. Dirt, 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 dirt. Yeah, that's pretty interesting, Chucky. You got that in front of some of the most expensive fucking bay properties in Vallejo. Like, some of, like, the premier, pristine, you know what I'm saying? Like, like them niggas pay. This property is big fucking money in Vallejo. And that's what they got going on. <coughs> <coughs> niggas got <coughs> 2023 tag <laughs> you know some bad niggas will ride around <coughs> on some <coughs> on some fucked up tags now they, they view is cool this little section here they got that they good but the other ones they beat so yeah, man, before all that was here, I used to be running around here broke trying to figure out what the fuck I'm doing to do with my life. <laughs> Nigga working a couple of part-time jobs, security at night. Uh, nigga, I was trying to be a, a, a Kirby's a, a, a vacuum cleaner seller. It, it was just wild back in the day, bro. It was just wild. Like, last time I was down here, I didn't have no credit cards in my pocket. I ain't had nothing in my pocket. I got so much shit in my pocket right now, I'm not even finna let niggas even close to me, and I'm not even finna touch my pocket right now. But you got cats that come out here, they do a little fishing, they come out here, do their little power walking. You know, you see how it's like a heart, it's just a different change, bro, it's just a different change. And then, you know, I was doing some of that extra uh, questionable shit. You know what I'm saying? I was doing some of that uh, some of that real questionable shit back in the day. And, you know, we couldn't be doing that. Uh, rolling. They hate me. Uh, and all that riding dirt. No, 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 no. You can't do that on parole. Definitely parole and probate. It's just, no, it was on parole back then. With the tracking device, by the way. So I would... Uh, Instead of keeping it in the car, I just hop on the uh, on the boat, on the ferry, and go across the way. And if anybody was to fuck with me, then it'd be like a. <laughs> I get over to where I got to get, uh, do what I need to do, and, and call it a day, and, and try to try to get ahead the best way I could get ahead. Now walking around this bitch, bro. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty jazzed up about this. I'm pretty jazzed up about this. Ain't that right, little bird? Oh y'all you done looking at me? Okay, here you go. Fine. Let's get you some of that. Kaka, nigga, kaka, kaka, kaka. I mean, would I be eating fish out of this? I don't know about that, bro. But there are people who uh that's how they eat, bro. A couple of times, I mean the only real reason why I didn't come up out of here and uh be uh, fishing up out of here is because I was too busy uh, doing security at, at the Dollar Tree, nigga, stealing food out the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm a security and I'm stealing the food, who's going to tell on me? As long as I ain't trying to steal a lot, I'll be fine. Crazy, man. Huh? Don't judge me. Yeah, I want to say that's them townhouses. What's up, y'all gonna do the little thing? Like we do it, come on. And one, and come on, do it, do your dance. Come on, synchronize, flap off. We're gonna walk all the way down, you're gonna flap off. Look good for the camera. Hit that bitch on some full sin. You too, Chucky. No making awkward eye contact. Let's go, what are you, or are you shy? Let's go, see, you're throwing off everybody's repetition. There we go, I need to flow, I need to flow, bitches. Yeah, it was wild back in the day up out here, bruh. Like this one, a nigga would like, uh, <laughs> we had to know somebody have a little weed to get some action at it. And I used to tell myself, I swear to God, bro, I used to tell myself all the time, man, I'm about to grow all the fire weed. Then one day, man, I'm gonna get my shit straight. Man, fuck parole. I ain't going da, 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 da. Man, I'm gonna have the best of the best. I'm gonna be that nigga, bro. I'm gonna have my whole shit. Everybody gonna know my name. I'm gonna have my shit tight. I'm gonna have my shit right. I'm gonna be getting my properties on. You know how the story go. Oh, we doing some work over there.
Boy, what you digging up? Digging up something over there. Boy pulling out the money. Hey, hey, don't be screaming. I'm making my hand shake. Yeah, he getting good money up out of here. That nigga better not say Hamilton Live right now. I just want to say, hey, yeah, Hamilton Live just came on right now. That nigga owe me a dollar ninety nine. Do my shit, bitch. He getting his money. Oh, oh. Let's go back to terrorizing these birds. Look, look, they're like, good morning. Come on, do your dance. And oh, then you got OG over here feeding them. Oh. Boy, he got that high-end uh, pigeon food. No, that's going to make that way puke. Oh, we got them strains now, though. Kaka, make this kaka. I don't know, man. I don't know. You know, I just, <laughs> I don't. You know, this just started off like, oh, man, we'll be fucking hella early. Let me just stop over here, take a break, maybe go get some coffee and bullshit, show everybody to some old, real nostalgic, like, damn, nigga, used to be dead broke on parole, nigga, homeless on a tracker, nigga. <laughs> and, nigga, look at you now. Oh. What was your drive? Yeah, see? You want to ride with it? You want to ride with it in the bay? Pay, well, I think it was like $12, $12 or some shit. That bitch got Wi-Fi on there. They got snacks. They got drinks on there. They got all that on that right there, bro. No, like at the end cap, if you want to know how how you can do it, how you can do it for real, that's right there, bro. Between nigga that and the Uber, you got the bay locked up. Yeah, yeah, that that would take you all nigga wherever there's some water in the bay to get that way. That bitch got a map that said we basically go everywhere. Yeah, I learned that shit, and I took full advantage of it. Man, I mean, I, boy, I took full advantage of that shit right there. You want to know why? Man, ain't no cameras on that thing like that thing on that bar train, boy. That thing ain't got them cameras like that highway patrol car got there, that boy. You know what I'm saying, baby? You know, you trying to get it where it need to go. All you got to do is get it where it got to go. How you going to get it to where it's got to go? Get on something? I was like, what, what the fuck going on? It's them waves, bro. Some waves coming. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> Chucky, it's an earthquake. Watch out. Hang on. Yeah, when I found out that all you got to do is just hop on that bitch right there, that motherfucker take your ass over to Frisco. That bitch take your ass over to Marin. And you ain't got any, bruh. Bruh. Bruh, I'm trying to tell you. You try to get on the, uh, on the BART. Them, them dudes, and you know what I'm saying? Hey, you, you might be, mm hmm this one, nah, 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 nah. Them niggas might want to pay your car or some shit like that, nah. 
A nigga try to rob you on the boat, where are you gonna go? Y'all can fight it out. And like I said, if a nigga get the tripper, throw that bitch in the water. <laughs> throw that bitch in the water, eh? <laughs> nigga, you can go get it your goddamn self. Now, it's awkward. Yeah, so this is my life right now. This is what we got going on. This is where we at. I'm grateful and appreciative, not taking anything for granted. Now, would I live down here again? Fuck no. I mean, we could, I mean, well, technically, if we was like, maybe over there in one of them little cool ass little spots, like, uh, Like some shit like that. Like we running out the top room, you know what I'm saying? Top spot. I'd be down. But you, you, you just you gonna you ain't gonna respect the moisture, huh? You ain't gonna respect the moisture. You ain't gonna respect you ain't gonna respect all this humidity. I mean, you could you can make some real uh, uh oh, we can grow some fire out here. It's gonna be costly. And your security gonna be up. But uh, I'd be down. I mean, I prefer to go into the middle of fucking like nowhere uh, with some generators and some solar with some uh, with some creeks and some uh, wells. I'd much prefer to go at it that way. But if that's gonna be the thing, like, oh, did you do, like, oh, these seeds were cultivated in San Francisco, California, located by Pier 39, and this batch was done by the Vallejo, whatever the fuck, yeah, we could do all that. But that's when you just playing and shit, you having fun. Yeah, them folks finna hop up off that. Them folks finna hop on that. And the cool part is, bro, it's not that expensive. I think it was like $12 at the most. And I really think it was way cheaper than that. I really think I'm exaggerating. Just telling you it's way more than what it is. So once you like, nigga, it didn't cost you that much. I'd be like, nah. And that dude in the blue up there, that ain't the police. That's one of them captain dudes. One of them, uh, boy, that one of them boat people. And you know, it's niggas in the V and in the town who ain't never been on a boat, nigga, and there's ferries around here just to keep it 1,000. There's niggas who live in the bay whole entire life and have never been on a boat. Not, you know, man, I started, I was on them boats young. I was on Lake Mary. You could go rent them little paddle boats and little canoes for like half hour, hour. You know what I'm saying? We're doing the big things. either getting something or dumping something so yeah that's what they do they just hop on this bitch or hop off that bitch let's see how much this shit costs oh I was way One-way fares. That's not bad at all. And there's still niggas in the bay who ain't never been on a boat. That shit hella cheap.
go slide and go get a coffee. All right, I'm back now. I'm back. Still a little early, so I figured we refresh the coffee, refresh the blunts. We get our walk on. And that's what cats do. They come down here and they niggas is down here smoking me. I could be, uh, you know, I can go stop by the homies. I'm pretty sure there's niggas out there doing the same shit. I'm pretty sure if I pulled up on the same area, the motherfuckers be doing the same motherfucking thing. Yeah, I'm good, though. I don't want no part of it. So I'm going to come over here and, uh, yeah, you'll learn that. You'll learn that. You can get into a whole bunch of the fuckery. Oh, you only got to go like four blocks in, four blocks into the shenanigans versus I would rather be out here on some, look at some boats. You know, is this a, is this a legal boat? It looked like it. I guess they was just like, what? We just going to pull up? Got their anchor and shit on that with the little scooter. Oh, man. Out here winning. Something nice out here. Good day, sir. Good day, nice sir. Uh, yeah, you know, you can go back to the block or you can go back to a better spot. And I literally, when I used to uh, have to sleep in my truck in that parking lot over there, I used to look at these. This water, and I used to come over here and I used to look at these boats. Like, nigga, I'm gonna make it, bro. I got this. I'm not saying we there. Nah, we ain't there and there yet, but I'm not here. Which is a total difference. I said they be pulling them uh, boats in and they be working on them and dropping them and all that other type of shit. You see a bunch of hello sir. You see a bunch of people out here fishing, doing their little thing, you know, doing their little thing. Now me, I'm not finna be pulling the uh Charlie tuna out the back. I don't want it. I ain't gonna be able to do it at all. But you know, you see there's a pole down there. And you're like, what where are all these people walking? I think just like a mile lap or something. Well, you come out here, you get your walk on. You get your walk on. And the dude sitting right there. That's his pole on the left. And he doing his little thing. Good day, sir. All right. All right now, sir. All right. You don't know if motherfuckers doing it for, for sports, for, for funds, or, or you know what I'm saying? You just don't know. And boy, how cheap that tilapia is. At Costco. You know, I don't even know if niggas even want to be out here fishing. But I know a lot of times they be showing shit about the bay and all this other shit. No, nigga, that's the bay. I don't know what to tell you. They got Bay Area yacht clubs. All that dicks on. <laughs> That's it, man. <coughs> I ain't gonna do nothing but, uh, just walk on back, go hop in the car, get ready to go to the next trap, keep this pushing, keep it moving. And most of all, man, just keep pushing. It ain't about where you at right now. It's about where you trying to get to. And as long as you're getting to the two, you shouldn't have no problem. So let me get out your way so y'all get to get into the two. And I'm going to hit you with the black one. The cowboy is
Enjoy.